We're so grateful that all of you could come. It's uh, not often that we get to share a beginning of a new Patriot year. <laughs> that was for me so I can settle down. Thank you for being here. We're going to start off by having Ashley, Brandon's brother, give an opening prayer and then we'll start with the ceremony. Our Father in heaven, we're indeed grateful for the opportunity which we have to gather together tonight to celebrate the beginning of marriage for Brandon and Amy. We're grateful for the people they are and for their willingness to accept each other and, and take each other's hand in, in marriage. We're grateful for the opportunity we have to celebrate with them tonight. We bless that we may follow thy spirit and be able to remember this night and that you may be able to bless these two, that they may be able to enjoy the highs of marriage and with thy spirit work through the lows. We're grateful for thy gospel and for the many blessings in which it gives us for the opportunity which we have to live together forever. We ask that when the time comes that we may travel home in safety and that Brandon and Amy may be able to enjoy their night together. And we say these things in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, what an honor it is. Amy is my fourth daughter. I've been able to watch her grow and become the beautiful young lady that she is, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity to do this. Before I begin, I'd like to give a few thoughts, and the thoughts that I prepared went out the door when I got here. As I walked around and I see the beauty that's within this place, beautiful flowers, plants, and everything, and they're, the reason they're beautiful is because the nourishing that they get. Your marriage is gonna be just like that. The more nourishment you give it, the more beautiful it's gonna be. When the nourishment stops, they die. Nobody ever falls out of love. People quit feeding the love and it dies. My hope and prayer is that your love will never die, that you keep nourishing it, that it will stay beautiful and green just like the things in here. I want to, this morning as I was at work, a couple of scriptures came to me and I want to share with you. This is found in Alma chapter 38. Inasmuch as ye shall keep the commandments of God, ye shall prosper in the land. I want to go down to verse 5. I would that ye should remember that as much as ye shall put your trust in God, even so much ye shall be delivered, out of your, be delivered out of your trials and your troubles and your afflictions, and you shall be lifted up at the last day. This is, this is a neat and a great day. This is really cool. But this is happiness. A joy is going to come in a year from now. For today you will be joined until the end of your mortal lives. In a year from now when you enter the temple, you will be sealed for time and all eternity. That's when joy happens. Happiness being of the mortal life, joy being of the eternities. That's when we're really going to celebrate. Now, I'm proud of both of you, and this is really fun. But life, I had to relate life into things that I could relate to. My grandfather had horses, and he had a couple wagons, and he would harness the horses together. Then my father-in-law had horses, and he had work horses that he would put together under harness, and they would pull wagons, and they would do whatever. My father-in-law's horses spent many years working together, and it was a beautiful sight. They pulled together, they, they stood together, they were always together. When one would weaken, 
the other would step forward and vice versa. My grandfather, a movie came in once and my grandfather had to put two horses together on a wagon for the movie and the horses didn't get along and they fought each other in the harnesses and it was havoc. It was terrible. I don't want to liken you to the horses, but if you will pull together and there's going to be times when each one of you has to give more than there's no such thing as 50% in a marriage. There's sometimes you're going to have to give everything you've got to make it work. Now, my father had a little saying, and I want to pass on to you. Giving up's not an option. You tread forward. You pull one more mile. You keep going until times get better, and they will get better. Because that nourishment that you do is going to keep bringing you closer and closer and closer together. So enough about me, enough about my preaching, let's get on with it. <clears throat> Brandon K. Lewis, do you take Amy Lynn Newsham as your lawfully wedded wife? And, oh, take each other by the right hand, sorry. <laughs> I've only done, this is only my second wedding, but I've got seven funerals under my belt. I've never had anybody undo a funeral, so I don't expect you're going to undo this marriage. <laughs> so now, Brandon K. Lewis and Amy Lynn Newsham, you have taken one another by the right hand in a token of the covenants that you will enter into in the presence of God and these witnesses. Brandon K. Lewis, do you take Amy Lynn, <clears throat> Amy Lynn Newsham as your lawfully wedded wife? And do you, of your own free will and choice, covenant as her companion and lawfully wedded husband that you will cleave unto her and none else, that you will observe all the laws, covenants, and obligations pertaining to the Holy Spirit of matrimony, and that you will honor, love, and cherish her as long as you both shall live? I do. I do. <laughs> Amy Lynn Newsham, do you take Brandon K. Lewis as your lawfully wedded husband? And do you, of your own free will and choice, covenant as his companion and lawfully wedded wife, that you will cleave unto him and none else, that you will observe all the laws, covenants, and obligations pertaining to the holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish him as long as you both shall live? <laughs> Did yes you say no? Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. It's all right. I'm already screwed up too. We have some vows at this time before I finish. Ladies before gentlemen. Okay. And you got to speak into this really okay. loud. Do I take this off? Yep. Okay. Although when we first met, despite occasionally dodging your advances when you'd ask me out, when I finally did come to my senses, I knew for certain after that you were someone I could be with forever. And ever since, I've never doubted that I would be the luckiest woman to marry you. When you find a Brandon, you don't let him go. It's not every day that you find someone that will wake up early to cheer you on at races or let you scream and cry when your team loses in the playoffs who always supports you in every single dream you have or even supports you in your irrational desire to check off every bucket list item in the span of the next six months. It's also not every day that you find a best friend that makes you laugh so hard you cry and on a regular basis, no less, one who makes you so overwhelmed with love that you think your heart might burst. You are my absolute best friend in the world and I couldn't be happier to have a friendship first and lover second. You are my once-in-a-lifetime love, and I will do everything I can to make our marriage an amazing one. I promise to help you be your best you since you help me be mine. I promise to learn to clean. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to always be your football-watching companion and skip church with you when the Pats are playing. I promise to always be a listening ear without judgment. I promise to always laugh at your jokes, even the dumb ones. I promise to cheer you up when you're sad. I promise to do everything I can to make you feel loved and adored. I promise to be your adventure buddy. I promise to put you before me. 
I promise to choose you every day. I promise to always be there for you even when I'm mad at you. I promise to continue to keep dating you and trying to keep things exciting. I hope I can make it through this. I'm not saying I'm a wussy or anything. It's just, uh, sometimes they hit you and you just can't get through them. Uh, I just want to say you look beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Amy, three years ago, you captured my heart by being exactly who you are. The most sweet, loving, beautiful, compassionate, gorgeous, and sensitive person I've ever known. I always look forward to your love notes hiding in my bags, clothes, house, and car. You always seem to know what to write and to say to uplift my day. From our first date going up to the Dixie Rock in St. George together, we were able to open right up and talk about politics and the health reform. <laughs> then I knew we would be, we were good for one another. Conversation always just seemed to flow with you and I. I don't know how I, how I became so lucky to be blessed with one of God's most precious daughters. You have been and you will continue to be my best, my best friend through the good and the bad. You have been the reason I smile and you have given me comfort when I am sad. You have shown me how to love with passion, purity, and unconditional acceptance. Not one word can describe the love I have for you. All I have ever wanted, Aim, is what we already have, and that's true love. At this time, Aim, I vow to honor, cherish, love, and protect you with everything I am and will be. I vow that every day I'll wake up and be so thankful that we are together, and I'll always be by your side to laugh with you and to cry with you, to believe in you and to support you, I vow to laugh at all your jokes, well, most of them. I promise to remain loyal to you physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I promise to create a household and to raise children with you as partners and as equals, keeping the house clean and tidy. In poverty, I promise to do everything to make our love rich and in wealth to never let our love grow poor. I promise to love you with more than just words, but with actions. Amy, you're not only breathtaking, but you're also very caring. And that is something not to be taken lightly. You make my heart flutter. And I love you so much. I can't wait to begin our adventures together. Just know that together we are better than we could ever be alone. And today I give you my love, my trust, and my eternal support. You will always be the best part of my day. I love you, Abe, always and forever. <laughs> Number one, never go to bed mad at each other, even if you have to stay up for three days. Don't do it. It fosters, festers, just like a sliver. So take it out get things out. Now, I can finish. By virtue of the legal authority vested in me as an elder of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I pronounce you, Brandon K. Lewis, and Amy Lynn Newsham, husband and wife, legally and lawfully wedded for the period of your mortal lives. May God bless your union with joy in your posterity and a long life of happiness together, and may he enable you to keep the sacred covenants that you have made. These blessings I invoke upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Great time. You may now kiss each other as husband and wife.